Hello and welcome to the session on syllogisms. Hi, I am Ravi Handa and this is my Twitter handle. You can use that to provide feedback. This session is brought to you by Gan Central. To begin with, we need to understand the fundamental idea of syllogisms, which is that they are based on pure and simple logic. Let us look at a couple of very simplistic examples. Let's say I am given a statement, all humans are mortal, all Greeks are humans, and then I have to verify whether the conclusion that is given to me is correct or incorrect. How do I do that? Well, the questions on syllogism, I typically believe can be divided into two categories. Uh, the ones which I consider to be easy and the ones which I consider to be difficult. I know it is an arbitrary classification of sorts, but you will find it useful by the time the session is over. In the easy questions, what you can do is just look at the common part, eliminate it and get the answer. Say in the first one here, the common part is humans. So if I eliminate the common part humans, what am I left with? I'm left with all Greeks are mortal, which is the conclusion. That means my conclusion is true. Very similarly in the second one, all mortals die, some mortals are men. So if I eliminate the common part, that is the mortals which are there. So what does it become? Some men, some are men can be reduced to some men and die. So which becomes the conclusion, some men die, which is also a correct conclusion to the given statements. I know and I agree that these are very simplistic questions. Let us look at some of the questions which were actually asked in the exam. Say for example, this one. Well, as you can see, things have already gotten a little complicated. What you had to do in this question is, you were given six statements, as you can see here, and you had to verify which one of the options led to the correct set. That is, the first two statements uh, are the statements and the third one is the conclusion. The first two statements are again the major minor premise and the last one is the conclusion. It is a little difficult to keep on shifting in these statements. So what I've done is I've listed down all these all the options here, A, B, C and D. So A is 2, 4 and 5. That is X and Y do not quarrel, X and Y quarrel often and all those who quarrel are siblings. So that is how I've listed down all the four options. Now, what is happening in these questions, in these options rather? X and Y do not quarrel, X and Y quarrel often, all those who quarrel are siblings. This does not even make sense. There is nothing which is common that you can eliminate. So you forget this one. X and Y are siblings, X and Y quarrel often, X and Y cannot be siblings. Once again, the options are not making sense. There is nothing that you can kick out or the common part that you can cancel. X and Y are siblings, Siblings are known to quarrel often, yes. So here it is something that you have a common part, which is the siblings part. Eliminate that. What are you left with? X and Y are, are known to quarrel often and X and Y quarrel often. So this makes a logical statement. So this is the true statement and C is our answer to this question. As you can see, this has become so much simple. Let us try one more example. Very similar idea, six statements conclusion and stuff. Have a look at these statements. Pause the video if you like. All I have done initially is listed down the four options that were given to me. Now to solve them, all mangoes are fruits, all mangoes are green. So in this I have mangoes common. If I eliminate that part, what I'm left with is fruits and green, but my conclusion is something totally weird. So this cannot be my answer. It is gone. All mangoes are fruits. All fruits are sweet. Yes. Now fruits are common. And once I eliminate that part, I'm left with all mangoes are sweet, which is the given conclusion. So that means in this one, B is indeed my correct answer. There's no need to check the other options. Next question. All frogs are amphibians and all that. I have done the exact same process again. Nothing else. Listed down all the options as A, B, C, and B. Now, I look at the options individually. All frogs are amphibians. All amphibians are cold-blooded. Good. 
So that means I can eliminate the amphibians part from it. So what am I left with? I'm left with all frogs are cold blooded, which is what the conclusion also says. So this one got solved very, very easily and in the first step itself and A becomes my answer. One final question, just so that you get the idea completely. Some men are short height, short height men are intelligent and a lot of other stuff is given to me. Once again, what I do is I take A, B, C and D, list them down in the order which uh, they are given in the options and then try and solve it. Some men are of short height, short heighted men are intelligent. So I eliminate the common part, which is the short heighted one. Now, once I've eliminated the short heighted part, what am I left with? Some men are intelligent, whereas the conclusion which is given to me is all men are intelligent. Well, that is the incorrect conclusion. So this is gone. Sudhir is a man. Sudhir is of short height. Short height men are intelligent. Does not make any sense. Out. Short heighted men are intelligent. Sudhir is of short height. Sudhir is intelligent. Now what is common? Short height is common. So I eliminate that. See short height is gone from here as well. So what am I left with? Sudhir is of men are intelligent. So what am I left with? Sudhir is indeed intelligent. And this becomes my correct answer or my correct conclusion. So as you can see, with the help of some very, very basic elimination, we are able to solve some of the syllogisms questions very, very easily. Let us continue with a few more complicated problems on syllogisms. I am given a statement, all girls are students. I am given another statement, all doctors are students. If I try and use the older method of eliminating the common part, I would get confused. And that is why I call these questions the second type of questions, which are a little more complicated. And that is the reason to solve these, I do not commonly cancel out, but I draw a Venn diagram. What will be my Venn diagram in this case? All girls are students. So girls should be a circle inside students, as is the case here. All doctors are students. Once again, all doctors are inside students. And now I need to look at which of the options are correct. All girls are students. This is indeed the correct option because they lie inside. Some students are girls. Some students are girls. This is actually also correct. So second is also correct. Some students are doctors. Again, third is also valid because as you can see from here, some people who are inside the student area are doctors. All doctors are girls. That is not necessary. Doctors and girls can be different sets, which means the first, second and the third statement are valid, which means only one, two and three follow or option D is my correct answer. Let us look at one more question on this. All researchers are sociologists. Some researchers are professors. So again, this becomes a little confusing because all and some is there. Let us draw a Venn diagram. All researchers are sociologists. First this. So my researchers, as you can see here, are inside the circle of sociologists. Then some researchers have to be professors. So there should be something which is common between the researchers and the professors, which is this particular portion here. And now you look at the statements. All researchers are professors. No, all researchers are not professors. Some researchers are professors. Yes, some research and professor people are common. So two is valid. Some professors are sociologists. Once again, there is some portion which is common between the two of them. So third is also valid. Some sociologists are researchers. There is some portion which is common between sociologists and researchers as well. So fourth is also valid. That means second, third, fourth are valid, which means option B becomes my answer. To continue, a couple more examples. Some democracies are dictatorships. No dictatorship is a monarchy. This will be a typically slightly more difficult in case of a Venn diagram because democracies and dictatorship need to have something in common. So here, 
dictatorship and democracy are two sets intersecting dictatorship and democracy are two sets which are intersecting the second statement says no dictatorship is a monarchy which means that dictatorship and monarchy can have nothing in common which is either uh, which is being shown by either of the two venn diagrams but the second statement which is about dictatorship and monarchy does not tell us anything about democracy and monarchy so there might be disjoint sets there is nothing in common between them there might be something which is common between them and that is the reason we need two venn diagrams for this just to play safe just to be clear now we look at the options no democracy is a monarchy in the first case it is not but in the second case it is well that means first cannot be my answer no dictatorship is a democracy well there are plenty of dictatorships which are democracies in both the cases so second can also not be my answer some democracies are monarchy well some democracies are monarchy at least in this case but not in this case some dictatorships are democracies some dictatorships are democracies well that is true in both these statements so the only confusion so to say which exists is in the third one which said that some democracies are monarchy in one case it is happening in one case it is not very similarly no democracy is a monarchy that is also happening in one case and not happening in another case what do you do in such cases well for something to be true it should be always true so first statement and third statement are not always true that is why you will not consider them to be correct you will eliminate third you will eliminate first because they are true in only one case but not all the cases second was very clearly false so your correct answer is only the fourth one which is given to you in option b and that is the reason why your answer will be b which is only for follows with this i like to wrap up the session on syllogisms thank you very much you can provide feedback via my twitter handle at the rate ravi handa you can also reach out to me on email which is ravi handa at gmail.com thank you